Hey Thor's Heads, here's a quick track guide for you for Brands Hatch in a 2017 C-Class Mazda MX-5, not your usual suspect. So we're going to show you how to get the perfect launch and how to take every bend. The main culprits here are going to be <coughs> um, Paddock Hill Bend, Druid, Surtees, Hawthorne, Westfield, Sheen, Sir Sterlings and Clark Curve. They are the main culprits. So here, to get the perfect start, you want to be blipping your throttle and then just before it goes to go, you want to let it run down to about halfway and then getting on the gas. Here we go, look, let it run down, halfway go. Little squirt of dust and then you're off. So into Paddock Hill Bend, you're going to be looking at the last box on the left-hand side. We're going to a little touch of the brakes just once, maybe twice, and then get just to get the control in, late apex, running it out wide, then up the hill towards Druids. We're going to brake on the shadow, down one gear, then we're going to fetch another gear halfway through the bend. We do just run a little bit drift here, but generally run it out onto the curb on the left hand side. Come back in. Grey Mill bend again, just going to come off the throttle on the start of the curb and just let it run in on its own and then just power out. You've just got to get that momentum right. Just get off the throttle early enough so you don't really need any brake and just roll in. So you're just going to touch the throttle just at the very start of that right hand curb and then just going to get in sort of tight so certainly you can take two ways take it really tight and use the camera to get round or if you've got competition you can sort of get in a bit later come round get a late apex and a good run down pilgrim's dip if you look pilgrim's dips look a bit steep on the right hand side so if you are racing someone it's not hard to take the right break here for hawthorns right between the box and the curb on the left hand side it's the tiniest touch of brakes then you're just going to run off and get back on the throttle to power through about 90 mile an hour then on Westfield, you're going to cut as much of that curb as you can. You're going to run out, run back in, and then run down the dip towards a sheen curve. Then you're going to come up, break on the last marker just to get a bit of balance across the curb, run out wide, back in again. And then we're going to just touch the brakes on the last or first red barrier on the right hand side there, and then just cut the corner. Generally, cut that apex, then get back out. And then we're going to just on the concrete on the left hand side, just nudge the brake just to control the entrance, get in. Let it run wide, use as much of the road as possible. You can get in on the right hand side and use a bit of grass for rotation in some cars if it struggles with the rotation, but that's generally the line you want to be taking. So here we go. <coughs> Last box, left hand side, we're going to just slightly touch the brakes, let it just decelerate all on its own. Late apex, get back on the throttle, and then run it out wide, all the way up. We're going to just touch the brakes here on the shadow and just let it decelerate up the hill, down, down another gear, the blip of the throttle just to control that diff, run it out wide back out down towards Grand Hill. We're going to just come off the throttle just so we get to the start of that curve and just let it run in on its own, back out on the power and go. Just use the deceleration, momentum and the inertia for your grip. Then we're going to run out a little bit wider this time. We're going to get slightly late rate pecs. Get in on the power. Generally you want to be coming out at about 90% throttle. That's just generally enough in the cars, you know, especially in these lower classes. You want to be squeezing the throttle almost all the way and then all the way. Down Pilgrim's Dip. So between the box on the left hand side and the curb on the left hand side, time is to touch the brakes and just decelerate all the way around. See it gets about 90 and get back on the gas. Um, Westfield's gonna cut the curb there, run it out, cross the dirt there. You know, just get a nice gradual line, you don't be turning too steep. Last box right hand side, just touch the brakes, come in, cut the curb. Didn't cut enough of it there, but we still run nice out wide and carry the speed. First red sign there, just touch the brakes. Cut the curb, out wide, back in again. Then we're looking for the start of the concrete on the left hand side here. And we're just going to nudge the brakes for control, get in, back out again. So with Brands Hatch, it's all about braking that slightly bit earlier or just decelerating that slightly bit earlier. And just allowing, especially like on Druids, allowing the uphill deceleration to take you. On Graham Hill, just decelerate a little bit earlier just so you don't have to use as much brake you don't lose the momentum and then you can carry the momentum towards 30s but that is a uh, track guide on how i take brands hatch let me know what you think guys thanks for watching take care see you soon your instructor is one of the finest pilots this program has ever produced <laughs>